Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is just gonna be um, a quick video on the different Michael Kors interiors that they make. Um, that's the fastest way to tell authenticity besides the serial date code is by the interior. Um, but they do have several different varieties of interior. So I wanted to just show you on the bags that I have all the different types of interior that they use. Um, I'm gonna start with the oldest, going to the newest. Um, just to hopefully that'll help you out. Just by looking at the interior, you can kind of tell the age of the bag. I mean, they do print the, the year it was made inside the bag, but if you're not able to see that clear tag and you're just looking at interior, this will kind of give you an idea, um, letting you know how old the bag is. So I'm starting with this one. This is the oldest one I have. I am missing the bag with the super vintage interior. Um, back in the day, they used like a white kind of twill canvasy it's like a creamish white color and it's just solid. It doesn't say MK anywhere on it. It's just this cream canvasy twill type material. So that one was the one I was hoping to be able to show you, but I don't have any um, here right now. So if I do end up getting another vintage bag, I'll definitely do a video on it so you can see it. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one. This is just the vintage style Michael Kors Aster Tote. You can also tell by this hardware that they use because it's kind of a like a vintage looking nickel color. But, so here's the interior. This bag was made in 2007. And I rarely see this interior anymore. I'll hold it back so you can kind of see. And of course it has the Michael Kors leather tab there. You want that to be there. Um, and I'll hold it up here to where you can see. See how it has like the little MK? You can just barely see it. And this almost just looks like, like chain or like a belt buckle or something. I'll try and hold it in the light to where you can see it. But, and then I'll show you the serial date code. So this was made in Indonesia. And I can never get my camera to go clear to where you guys can see it. But the number on it is 0708. So the first two numbers um, are the year. So this was made in 2007. And then eight is August. So this was made in August of 2007. So one last time, this is the interior that was used on this bag in 2007. It is 100% authentic. I buy all my bags myself. So, um, so there's that. And then another interior, and this is actually like the worst interior that I think Michael Kors could have ever used. It's so gross looking. Like, and it gets really gross. Like, so it has the Michael Kors on it. Michael Kors leather tab. But it's just really, like, this, this one's not as bad as some of my other bags. But it just snags really, really easy. And it's, it's like this thick almost like a tablecloth type material but it just like the the threads come out this one's like I said this one's not as bad but some of them that I have that I've used for quite a while they will get really bad um, and so we'll look at this one here this one was made in China in 2010 so it's 1008 is the number on it so 10 is 2010 8 is August so this was made in August 2010 and this was made in China I'll show you kind of one last time so you can see it just has and keep in mind they I'm showing you the lighter color ones just because the blacks really hard to show up on this camera so they do make this um, when you see interiors they do make them in different colors just keep an eye out like they're not going to use zebra they're not going to use cheetah print they're not going to use floral they're always going to have some sort of MK inside if you see the interior that is like a khaki color with dark brown MK circles because they do try to replicate this so they'll use this design, but it will be um, like a khaki color with dark brown seas. And Michael Kors does not do that. Their interiors, um, they, you know, they match. Like it'll be a khaki with just a little bit lighter, darker khaki or black with a little bit darker black. Um, they're not going to do a dramatic, hideous, ugly interior. Um, and this is a Portland bag. Sorry, it's all wrinkled. I had it in storage. Um, same sort of thing. It has that same interior that I just showed you on the black one. We'll look to see where this was made. 
This was made in China, exact same month and year. So this is 1008, so August of 2010. Um, so this is another one. Um, get the interior out of it here for you. So it's going to be that same type of material that I don't like. This one's a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit better. It's not, it doesn't snag as easily, but as you can see, like it still does um, get the snags in it. I'm like a coarse tab on there and I'll give you an overall look of it. So like I was saying, see how it's khaki, but it just has a little bit different shade of khaki for the MK. So if you see this with like dark brown MKs, it's not real. So this was also made in China and the number is 1202. So this was made in February of 2012. So it gives you an idea of the 2012 fabric. Oh, and this is a Bowen bag. In case you were curious what bag we were looking at. And then I'm going to come on. This is um, what I see the most in these bags. Um, this is the, kind of their newer style interior. And it's not going to let me pull the tag out of it, but I can do this. So this is their somewhat, somewhat newer interior. And see how this is kind of a khaki brownish olive color. And see the, the microcores is just dark enough to where you can see it. And this is just the microcores jet set, standard jet set tote. It's not going to let me pull this interior out because it's sewn in. But this one was made in China. Uh, 10 12 so this was made in December of 2010 so it looks like at the end of 2010 they would have switched to this interior because those other bags that I talked about with the ugly interior were made in August of 2010 so I'm assuming that would be when they switched to this new interior um, and this is just going to be that same this is a Michael Kors Joan Knox and it's going to be that same interior it's just a different color this is khaki that was kind of a green Let's see it's michael kors also got the leather you'll notice on the fake bags they try to use a metal michael kors tab okay so this one so part way through 2013 um I hate showing this because it's not on all bags. Um, it's not sewn in really well, and so a lot of them get ripped off. But So what they've done now, which I, I like it, is they have this the clear tag that I've been showing you along with this white 12-digit code. So if you take that white 12-digit <coughs> sorry, style number and type Michael Kors and type that number into Google, this bag will pop up. Um, you will see other colors and... Um, sizes, but it will be the Joan Knox bag that pops up. Um, this one was made in Indonesia in October of 2013. And it does have that little clear tag, or the white and the clear tag on it. So I like that they're doing that white tag because it makes it super easy for you to just be able to type in that serial number. Um, however, I do have some other 2013, 2014 bags that do not have that in it. Um, I don't know if they got pulled off or something when I was using it. Um, or if they only did it on certain bags. I'm not exactly sure on that. But, um, yeah, so on some of the newer ones, you will see that white tag. And then this one I want to show you. This is the Safiano leather bag. This is a Greenwich grab bag. And these ones and then other totes that they make that are the Safiano leather, the interior, there's no lining in it. So this is actually black in the inside, but it's the same material as this on the outside. So this is the Safiano leather. So the inside try and show it to you, is also Safiano leather. And this has the white tag as well as the clear tag. And this was made in Vietnam and it's 1411. So this was made in November 2014. I can't flip this bag inside out because it's the Safiano leather. Um, However, I just wanted to make people aware if you do buy a tote or something that's sappy on a leather, don't be surprised that there's not an interior in it. It's just the same as the outside, but they are authentic. Um, and this is just a Michael Kors um, Python embossed uh, chain ID tote. 
And again, it has that same interior. This is the interior that I see the most often. Um, but again, it's that same interior. This one's a grayish. And you'll see the leather tab, and they make it match the outside. So you can see next to each other, they match. And this was made, it says 1205. So this was made in May of 2012. And this was also made in China. So like I said, um, the ones I've read off so far, you know, are Philippines, Taiwan, Indonesia, China. Um, they do have factories in all of those places. Um, this one is a Michael Kors Gibson satchel. Take all my stuffing out of this. Because this does, and this one's going to be kind of hard to show. I wish I had the cream color. But this is another one of their interiors. But like I said, the most important is you just, I mean, their, their interiors are um, like, you know, they're black, but they also have just a little bit darker black. Like I said, you're not going to see anything really dramatic. The only time is, um, like they do have the Kiki totes, which is like a big polka dot tote. Um, and in the inside, I actually love the interior. The inside, because um, the outside is black and blue, so the inside is also black and blue MK, and it's really cool, and you'll, you'll still see the clear tag. But So there are a few that make an exception, um, so you always just want to look for the clear tag to be 100% sure it's authentic. Try and get this to where you can see it a little better. See, it says the circle, the little circles with MK inside of it. Leather tab. This one is made in China, 1106. So this would be June of 2011. Okay, sorry, I had to grab my bag. Okay, so I wanted to show you this because this is a 2016 bag. This is the Michael Kors Brooklyn Convertible Hobo. And I just wanted to be able to show you the newest interior. And I love this interior. It's actually like thick, kind of a um, satiny nylon. And so it's super easy to clean. Let's see it, how oh, it says Michael Kors. I have it upside down, I'm sorry. But again, it's the same idea with just the colored interior and a little bit darker on the writing. Leather tab that's gonna match the outside. And then, um, So now they have changed it since it's a 2016 bag. They have taken the clear tag out and replaced it with this black one. It does have the skew little code thing on the back, the barcode thing. Um, and so this one was made in Vietnam and it's 1605. So this was made in May of 2016. So it'll say that, it'll have that four digit code, made in Vietnam. It also has that 12 digit style number on it. So in 2016, midway through 2016, they put these black tags on them. But they will still have all the same information. So instead of having the clear tag and the white tag, they've put all the information on this little black. It actually doesn't feel that quality. It feels like it could rip off easily. Um, but yeah, so that would be the 2016 that they did switch to the black ones. So um, if you, you just always wanna look for the clear tag. The clear tag is the most important. Uh, I'll show it to you one more time because that's the best way to tell authenticity. Um, I want to show you one that doesn't have the white tag on it because, like I said, that white tag, um, I only have it on a few of, few of my bags. But So this clear tag, you just want to look for this because fake bags will not put that on there. For whatever reason, like they think they're so tricky making all these counterfeit bags. And counterfeits are actually really easy to spot. Like they're horrible quality like made out of plastic. It's not like they're even made out of leather. Like they're actually made out of plastic. The stitching's horrible. The zippers are cheap. The inside's cheap. Like you will know. I mean, there's so many people that, you know, they get scared like, and, and the bag is super quality and super gorgeous. Like they're Michael Kors, the ones that fake Michael Kors bags are not gonna spend a lot of money. You know, they're not gonna use real leather. They're not gonna use nice zippers. Um, they do do that with, you know, Chanel bags and the ones that are super expensive because they can sell them for thousands of dollars. And so they will do like super fakes where they actually use the same material and, and um, make them look exactly the same to where you have to be, you know, a Chanel expert to be able to tell the difference. Um, they don't do that with Michael Kors. Michael Kors are not an expensive enough bag 
So they don't try and they do a terrible job at replicating them. So if you see a fake one in person, you'll definitely know it. But for if you're, you know, buying it from someone online or something, just always ask them to see a picture of this clear tag. Um, because like I said, the fake ones, they do not take the time to put that clear tag in it. So you'll always get the sellers that are like, oh, I don't see a clear tag anywhere in there. Maybe I'm just not finding it. I can go ahead and send it to you and you can find it. Um, you know, they try and make up all the excuses that they can. So um, always look for that clear tag. That's the easiest way. If it has the white tag, that's a bonus because the white tag, you can just type in that style number into Google and you are good to go. But of course, the safest way is to always buy from Michael Kors. Um, but if you're not able to, just make sure you know how to authenticate before you're purchasing online. Do not purchase from the sites. There's only one Michael Kors site, um, it's just the actual michaelkors.com. Don't go to Michael Kors Outlet, um, michaelkors.org, Michael Kors Handbags, all these shady, shady sites. And they actually take pictures of the actual bag and put them on their site, but when they send them to you, um, obviously it's fake. You can't get through to anybody when you go to call back. Uh, it takes months to get there and of course they're fake which you should know because they're selling you know a brand new bag for $35 um, which is you know uh, obviously a dead giveaway but um, if you are looking for discounted price bags just go to Michael Kors they do sales all the time um, you know this bag is normally a $400 bag and I got it on their clearance for 120 so um, you know always check the Michael Kors website because they do have great deals on there so thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, just leave it in comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks so much.